I'm Warren, he's Charlie. He can hear, I can see, we work together for that reason. <laughs> Warren and Charlie may be um, smart enough to um, uh, have guessed that the first question uh, will be about topic A, uh, which is Goldman Sachs. Clearly, Goldman Sachs has lost reputation because of the SEC's action. Could you tell us your reaction to the lawsuit, your reflections in light of it about Berkshire's large investment in Goldman? There's no question that the, that the allegation alone causes, uh, causes the company to, to lose reputation and obviously the press of the past few weeks, they, they hurt they hurt a company, they hurt morale, they can, you know, a lot of things. But uh, I don't believe that the allegation of something falls within my category of losing reputation. If something is proven, uh, then you have to look at it. If you became aware of unethical or illegal activities at a Berkshire Hathaway owned company, would you directly and personally intervene? Sure, we have to jump in. I want to hear about problems. Uh, you know, I hope somebody else has heard about them first and already got them solved. But if they don't get solved someplace else, you know, I, I want to hear about them. And we have a letter that goes out every roughly two years. It starts off basically, and it says, "Look, we've got all the money we need. We'd like to make more money. We love making money, but we don't have a shred more of reputation than we need." And <coughs> We won't trade reputation for money. It's a really interesting situation because Greece, you know, they, they are a sovereign country in terms of their own budget, but they can't print their own currency. You know, they, 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 they've got the euro. And uh, I don't know how this movie ends. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm forecasting disaster or anything. I really just don't know how this movie ends. And I try not to go to movies like that if I can. What did you think of Kraft CEO Irene Rosenfeld's $26.3 million compensation packages, package for services, including her leadership in completing the Cadbury acquisition and selling Kraft's North American frozen pizza business? Well, I didn't like either the Cadbury decision or the pizza decision, but, but we've made our share of dumb deals at Berkshire. You know, and, and uh, uh, so I, I've gotten more tolerant of other people. And, and incidentally, the fact I think it's a dumb deal doesn't for certain make it a dumb deal, but I think the odds are it was a dumb deal. And you will have an absolute army of lawyers, investment advisors, public relations people, all of whom will have a strong economic interest in having you push ahead on deal after deal after deal, regardless of how the shareholders come out. I mean, you know, it, it just, it's the way it works. <laughs> I think it's much more important to have good learning at the elementary level than frankly the habit of, at the, uh, in terms of advanced degrees and uh, graduate schools. There are other great educational institutions in America that help handle this problem. One of the ones I admire most is, is McDonald's. I had fun once at a major university when I said I thought McDonald's succeeded better as an educator than the people in the university did. And what I meant was McDonald's hires a lot of people who are quite marginal at the very start of their working career, and they learn to show up on time for work and observe the discipline. If I one day want to apply as a manager with one of the Berkshire companies, what qualities are you especially looking for? So when you find somebody outstanding, boy, do they jump out. I mean, somebody that is, is, is thinking about the place the right way, is working extra hard, whatever it may be. In terms of generally, in, in, generally advancing within organizations, I think you'd be surprised at how little competition you really have if you start thinking like you would if you were an owner of the place and working like you would if you were an owner of the place and pretty soon you may be, you may be running something. I am looking for your fundamental or unified theory of management and life. It's pragmatism. Good sense when something is working very well to keep doing it. So I'd say we 
we're demonstrating what might be called the, fun the fundamental algorithm of life. Repeat what works.